Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. Today I have my Goodwill Bins haul from a week ago. Yes, a week ago on Wednesday. So, I've actually got it all right by me and I've got a place to put it so I hopefully I'll be able to do the whole thing. Probably I'm going to do the whole thing anyway. <laughs> so, um, I just was folding this up and I saw who the maker was and I was like, what? So this is one of those really nice, softy, soft, um, plushy, you know, blankets from that you would get like at Costco or um, TJ Maxx or something. And this is Vera Bradley. I was like, wait, what? I thought she just made like purses and all that stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And I like this. I mean, I don't know. If, I mean, I guess I would even like it on a purse. I don't do those quilted purses anyway, but, um, yeah, I like, I like this a lot for a blanket. See, you got to see most of the pattern, like the colors and all the, so yeah, I mean, this will go with my house. Um, so that was a bonus. And then now Bella has never chewed up a whole lot of stuff, but when she's in my bed, like she lays on the bed a lot, like during the day or whatever, especially if somebody's not home, you know, if she's got a toy or a bone or whatever she takes up there, and she's like, you know, digging and she doesn't realize, I think what she's doing. And the next thing you know, she's pulling at the comforter and then she's tearing that, you know? So it's taken her, I mean, I've had her for five years and this is, well, I guess you would probably think that's a lot, but I had one of the comforters for a long time. So it was already kind of eh. And then the one that I had when she was first a puppy, like, it like the thing about it was that it was the style in which it was really comfy but she got one rip in it and it was like that all that stuffing and that was the end I mean I don't know how I would have ever like flattened it out right because it would have just been lumpy because that's how it became kind of lumpy and um so I got something last year when I was in Kentucky and this she just recently had at it and I'm still trying to give it a little more life because it's just along the edges and I don't sew so don't even <laughs> and I get things cheap because you guys I'm I'm it's not just that I'm cheap you know it's just that I'm I'm on a budget you know so um yeah. So then I got something at the uh, St. Vinny's not too long ago and it's really hot at night on me. So I guess in the winter that'll be good, but you know, and, and that's fine. I like the decor of it. Well, I'm not looking, but like I said, if I find things, I will load up on these things because especially when it's worth it. And then I found this at the bins. I don't know what the, I don't know what the the thing of it is. It's, um, I don't know anything about this, except I hope she doesn't get into this one because I feel like it's one of those that would be the lumpy kind, but it's like weird on the outside, but like cooler. So I think she'll like that too, actually just lay on it. But this is, this is the design. So it's kind of like all my bedroom kind of colors and stuff. And it's a little maybe busier. And I don't know that I might like normally, but I like it. So we're good. So let's just try to do this. Um, this is now you guys, I got this stuff at the bins, right? So I had worn gloves and, um, 
this stuff, I, I left it out in my car for a while, and then it was in my garage for a while, and then it's been in the house for a while. So I still have to clean it all up. I always clean it before I sell it. So um, this says Bar M Ranch under there. And then it's, you can see in the inside. That's kind of cool, hey? It's tin. I'm trying to, like, there's a year. There sure is a year on here. 19... Well, duh. <laughs> oh gosh. It might be 1973. It might be. Oh, man, I wish it was. Oh, oh, I just thought this door was going to be a swinging door. That would have been so cool. Um, There's like, you guys, there's like a fireplace. <laughs> 19, uh, gosh, it's like 1973, or is it 1953, or is it, I don't know. I'll have to get a better look, <laughs> but I thought that was a good get. And I have been, I always talk about forsythia branches, and I love them. I and so, this one may not really go with the other. Well, yeah, they all do. So I got these. Because I just like them. I just, I don't know what it is. I'm not like crazy over the color yellow. But I love the way these look. And um, so, I'm pretty sure that I'll be uh, finding many ways to use these in the spring. Or, you know, whenever I want to use them, I guess. <laughs> And, uh, I thought I had got them all, but then I noticed that somebody else had some. So either they got to them before me or they they found some somewhere else. So, cause I'm telling you right now, I scoured, <laughs> you, you know, I did. So, all right. <laughs> what was that? Oh, a piece. Uh, this is a scarf 100% viscose uh, let's try to see if there's a brand I don't I mean I don't always look for all that you guys I just I don't them flowers are gonna be everywhere um but you know I mean like look at how cute this is this and it's light this is one of those you know how I say you know what I'm gonna say you just throw on some jeans and, oh, and if you're thin, you can roll one of these scarves up and just tie it around your waist. You know, tuck in your t-shirt and your blue jeans and roll up your pants a little bit and have your kicks on and throw your hair up in a ponytail. You either put you put your scarf around your neck, in your hair, or around your purse, or around your waist if you're lucky. I don't know. I'm not fashionable, but I got I got good ideas. I mean, if you're cute, thin, or just you don't have to be thin to be cute. I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> but if you have the ability to wear clothes properly and don't wear clothes that are not fit for your body, or you wear them properly. You're lucky. I mean, I could always help you out with if you don't have any kind of, you know, ways to do a scarf and stuff. I'm happy to help. So, I got these shorts for my daughter. I hope she'll like them. They're um, Adidas. They're size medium. And they're uh, that Climacool. So, they might be too big. I don't know. I don't think so. But... She'll like them, I think. Here's another cute scarf. And this I got because, you know, it's red, white, and blue. This is going to be really good for summer. And oh, I just think this is great as a runner. I cannot tell you enough how many, how much I just love a scarf as a runner. 
especially when it's like this and it can fit in like a decor so perfectly. Ah, love it. Here's another one. This is so good. Ah, look at that. This one, did I decide I'm keeping this? I know it's dirty. I'm dirty too, people. I wish I could pull that off. I got a big head. I don't know how to pull off the right way to wrap these things. Well, it's too much. I don't know. Anyway, cute, cute. I got this for one of you that are smaller than I. This is a size large. It, it's new, but um, it's new, but it's full of you know hair and stuff because the sticker's never been taken off. It's a size large, and the front is plain, but this is the back. It says, "Assuming I'm just an old lady was your first mistake." Look at it. Oh, yes. I know. <laughs> I'm sure I got a ton of women that are like, my girls are going to be like, girl, you know. <laughs> <coughs> All right, now. <coughs> I, I might be crazy. I might be straight crazy. To think that there's any interest in this. They still have their JCPenney tags on these. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Tags. I, I couldn't help it. Somebody might love to have all of these. So. How did I do? Okay, there's all kinds of this. This might not go. Some of these might not go with the other, and I'm not sure. This might be a tablecloth. No. Um, <laughs> no, it's not. Here we go. Okay, so it's a panel. Oh, it's even got measurements on it. So this is a panel. And you guys, I mean, it's from... This is old school. All day long. I wish I could tell you a year. I don't know if this reads a year or not. I, if anybody knows how to read the Jixie Penny price tags, let me know. But, um, okay, so this is 60 by 63 panel. Look at that. And then. That's the bottom. Okay. So that's one panel. And I think that might be, that might be the only one of that. I'm not positive. Okay. <clears throat> Because you guys, I was just grabbing. And again, I might be crazy, but I might be making somebody's wishes come true too. I don't know. Now this one says one panel, 48 by 84. And look at these. This is like that old school kind of like up, up top thing. Okay. I'm going to try to fold this because I'm trying to keep this, you know, Cause I'm not trying to, I'm not washing this or anything. You would have to take care of all that, like steam cleaning or whatever. But, or, I mean, and again, you could just tear this up and use this. This is just a lot of cool, look at this. 
I mean, you know what I'm talking about? This is vintage and boho. And it's just regular, too. It's not just for boho. That's, I don't know, some kids, some girls, ladies, women, people get scared. When they hear that, but yeah. Oh, yeah. This one is torn. That's right. I knew there was one. This one is torn. So that's why I was like, well, that's okay because they might want to use it as a piano. I mean, as a, you know. Here's another. Okay. Well, this might be two. This says two pieces, 50 by 90. I love that these measurements are all on here already. Okay. And then this says two pieces, 50 by 63. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know what kind of work you want to do on window treatments and stuff, but this is, I mean, it's, I think that one is the only one that's not, and I'll look at it better, but I think that only that one was ripped. So, okay, let me show you what else I got. This is a XL. It says, have you hugged your planet today? Anyway, I thought this was, this Y-U-E-N-G-L-I-N-G. -G. It's um a beer, I believe, yeah. Yes, it says, save our planet. It's the only one with beer. <laughs> and then on the back, it says, made in the USA, 50% recycled plastic bottles, RPET, and 50% organic cotton. And then it's got a bottle plus cotton equals t-shirt, love where you live. I think that's cool. If, you love, if you're a tree hugger who loves beer and is a size... Well, it says XL. I mean, you know. I thought it was cute, and it's a comfy. Uh, I like the way it feels. What did they? Oh, it's organic cotton, and the, it's. I liked it. Thought it, I wish it was something I could have worn. I think this is something I can wear, but this says Cup Cupio Women, and doesn't have a size on it. But I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able to fit in this. And look at this. Oh, look at it. All the way. And it's more of a, I think, thing you would wear around the house. Or with leggings. And I don't wear leggings. So I'll be wearing that around the house happily. And I feel like that's like the only thing I got that was clothing-wise. So, yeah. Now, the next few things will probably be in today's sale. This one says it's the Bible Think and Do Playtime Book. See, I'm having a paper sale today. Yes, and there's cutouts and stuff. This, I wanted to see what year this was. I know it's vintage. Um, it is, oh, no, it doesn't say, it just, it, well, it's vintage. When Jesus was a boy, um, and there's like, just, you know how like these fun little booklets to do, it's just that it's uh, more Christian based with Jesus in there and, um, Oh, let's draw some fish. Oh, I always like these things. Oh, I love those. And look at the back. Love that. So yeah, this is going to be in uh, tomorrow's sale. Today's today's sale. And then this is The Little Match Girl, a story by Hans Christian Andersen. 
happiness storybook. It was 19 cents when it first was sold. But let me show you this because it's got amazing graphics. It's um, printed in Finland. And it has oh, it's so good colors. First of all, look at the both sides. But it's got a MCMLXX. Fifty. Is that nineteen seventy? What's X? Is that nineteen seventy? I have no idea. But these colors, the words, the everything. So good. I love the big words and the colors. Oh, that's really good. Please don't disappear, cried the little match girl. She quickly lit another match, then another and another. Her grandmother looked so peaceful. So, um, I'm going to put this on uh, the sale for today. And then, now I like to keep a lot of my papers that I find because I use them, I'll, I'll be using them for scrap, scrap, junk journaling and also for like actual use. And if I see some that I love, then I really, really, really love to keep them. But you know, sometimes you want to sell them because they're awfully cute and you want to share. Um... This one I feel like I'm going to keep because I, I, that's like such my color thing. Um, this is wedding, right? Wedding wrap. I don't know yet. I'm, I think I have some other ones too. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And then this is like, a, I guess this is kind of more wedding because yeah, there's like some love doves or whatever, peace doves, whatever you call those, just doves. And then this is um, probably a wedding one, too. So, I got oh, a ton. I almost bought more, but then I wasn't sure if some of them were kind of the weird stickiness of it. I got all these for shipping, which is going to be good for what I'm the sale I'm having. So, yeah. Oh yes, I sure did. I got, and they're recycled, made of recycled. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen of them. That's funny. <laughs> I got an odd amount like that. But um, but yeah, when I find things like that I can use for shipping at the bins, I'll totally get those because. Those shipping costs add up. Sometimes I'm like, why did I sell this for so cheap? I think I, you know, you, you don't want to think about it too much because you know you lost money on stuff sometimes. I got this piece of wicker. Um, honestly, I, <laughs> it might be a part of a, a, like a fan. You know what I'm talking about? A, a, um, a ceiling fan because I think I found more stuff of this later on but I think this was already in my because I I use this as like a background for things or something like in my my um, decor but anyway yeah because I found some stuff later and I was like oh this is cool and then I was like oh wait there's this and there's this and I, I just left it because I was like oh I think it's all for one thing so I got this. Um, now, it's not too scratched up. Usually I don't get these too often, but 1986, made in Hong Kong. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I did because, you know, and I don't know if you guys know this about the bins, but they, they leave the prices on if it came from a Goodwill, which it's not the price you pay because you're paying a per pound price. So, anyhow, it's cool. And it's large. I mean, it's, you know, it's a good, good size. And 
And then I got um, this. It says, Ugh, I, I literally can't even. And it was, um, wait, what? Oh, $3. Okay, it was $3. And then at the Goodwill, they tried to buy, sell it for a buck ninety nine, which, I mean, I shouldn't say nothing because I know I've spent some money on these coloring books because I'm going to use them. I'm going to use the pages of them and stuff. So anyway, uh, ugh, I literally can't even. And then it's probably, I just, a couple pages are colored, but it's, um, you know, cute little sayings. Me, sensitive, never. <laughs> it's got cactuses. I run on coffee and sarcasm. I like that one. Not my problem. I eat chocolate for your protection. Ew, people. Actually, I can. Thank you. Next. Not today, Satan. I love this. So, anyway, I love that. And then this is... I just had to. I don't know. Um, on this side, somebody. so somebody framed this. It says anyone who keeps the who sees the ability to anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old. Kafka, and then it's got this like little hanging thing, okay? And it's made with these, okay? But listen, this is it's so it's so weird. I had to get it. I just had to. It's the Charlie original Charlie's Angels. <laughs> Look, Farrah, Jacqueline, and Kate. Because that's what it says down there. Their real names. Farrah Fawcett, Jacqueline Smith, and Kate Jackson. I mean, this is amazing. Like, this is, like, somebody, like, matted this. This is great. <laughs> Just, I, I, I had to. I mean, I had to. Somebody's going to love that. So, um, this, I don't know really what it is other than it's something that you can use to decorate your home with. And if they think this is a back scratcher, I mean, it probably is supposed to be. It's a weak attempt. I'm going to tell you right now. But, um, there's a few little chips on there, but I just thought it was cute if you like fish. And you get this thing you can hang it on the wall or whatever. It's just cool looking. <sighs> I thought this was super cute. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. It's a purse. Look at this. With this fabric. And the and the 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 um bamboo handles somebody was trying to sell it for 50 cents and they couldn't dang I'd have paid a lot more for it if I was paying cash I mean you know, if I was paying not, not at a bins I would have paid more for it this is just I mean this fabric this style I cannot even this is the cutest thing I've seen in a while so, I think you guys will appreciate that. I, um, I got this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it. I got this out of a game. Yep, I sure did. I took the box out. I opened the box. I took this out. Somebody's going to like this for, um, Halloween time. Just because it's orange. That's right. And then I got this. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's a hook. Like you, you hang it right here on the wall and then you can like hang a dog, a dog leash or a, your keys or whatever. I don't know, but it's a um, butterfly and it's like a 
orange color, darker orange color. Oh, these flowers. <laughs> I got this hot pink, gray, white, and, and black. And it's brand new. And I think I'm going to use it outside. I get these sometimes real cheap, and then I use them, and then I don't care if I throw them away. And this is from um, uh, Walmart. Walmart. So, there's that. That. Oh, there's one more thing in there. This was a, and this I shoved the stuff in here in my bag. Um, this I got. It's it's a. It says do not use. Wait, do not mix with any other ink. Swords, I think, or no, Stafford's, maybe, I don't know, it's been punctured. D something, blue washable number 865 for fountain pens. Um, I thought of uh, Katie when I got this, but um, it's really cool um, as far as what it's for and the jar itself is really cool looking. So, I'm pretty sure there's some value in this. Yeah, that's super cool. Okay. I got... Where did I put my bag? Oh. This for junk journaling. I think it's red, but it's... It's cool. I got this doll, um, made in China by HK City Toys. I don't, Becky. 1989, I think. Maybe I thought it said 69, but it probably does say 89. So, she's probably not really much of anything, but um, somebody might like to use her for something. She's cute. I don't know what it was. Why? I never get dolls. I've been watching a lot of people with dolls lately. Maybe that's why. I got this. I think I may have gotten another one. If I, I know I saw another one. I can't remember if it, if it was gettable. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I don't remember. Um, but if I do have it there, you'll know. Uh, I got this lovely hanky. I got this. Um, I think it's a tree skirt. Yeah. Tree skirt. Very colorful. Um, a little more kid centric, like with the dolls and the, I mean, not really, it doesn't have to be, I just like it cause it's all the primary colors and there are a lot of people that are very, um, pure to the, you know, certain colors. This, I, I, I hope somebody's going to appreciate this. Um, it, and this is how I found it. It was not in anything. Now, this is not that bark stuff. This is like a cloth or a linen that has been adhered to paper. Okay, I don't know what kind. I don't know any of this stuff. But, um, I don't know if it was, I mean, it doesn't look like it was painted. It looks like it was already like this and then it was put on this paper. I don't know. I don't, there's not a signature. There's not a date. There are no words. There's nothing. 
So I will look into this a little more, but I just thought that it was cool. So somebody I, I'm sure will agree with me. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I got like I got these for my um junk journaling. I got these because they're thank you cards. And you know who I can't use those for. I got these because uh, I don't know, they're old, I'm sure. They, they try to sell them for $1.99 at the Goodwill. Dumbasses. Oops, sorry. Um, they're from 19. Oh man, that was a real moment. Um, 1986. I don't know. I just thought they were cute. And I'm probably going to use them myself. Because this is Java Jabber. Or I might just keep them. Or I might just like write notes every now and then and stick it on to somebody's stuff. That's why. Okay, I got this. It's the uh, A Glimpse. <laughs> of South Dakota State University, past and present, a paper doll coloring book. That's why I got it. Okay. It's, um, and it says on the back, Brookings is someplace special. And it looks like somebody did write a little bit on there, but, um, it's from 1985. And it's just a, it, you know, cute. So they have pictures and then they have these. So here's the outfits. Oh, well, I guess there. There's um, Jack and Jackie. <laughs> and then there's all the different outfits that you can get for them. They have um, outfits that says setting your sights for if you're a photographer. There's a school of nursing. There's the Hobo Day Queen and King. Okay. Uh, Christie's Band. I don't know what that means. Graduation. 50th class reunion. So it's the different things that you would wear on those different events. Um, and there are quite a few days for these things. Dance for Dystrophy. Mil military Ball. Unit 1980s unisex look. AG major, egg major, I mean, child development. <laughs> That's cute. It's got one of those toys that you push. <laughs> Grandpa as a freshman. <laughs> Bobby socks are at the dairy bar. The world of home ec. Um, there are a lot of pages. Maypole dance. Uh, so this is really cool. If anybody went to South Dakota State University, well, you might just be hitting the 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 mother load tomorrow, today. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's already tomorrow, today, today, now. Because it's probably like 2 o'clock in the morning right now. Ugh. So, that's super cool. And honestly, it doesn't have to be somebody from South Dakota, whatever. Because it's just super cute. Um, this is some scrapbook paper. It's a little old, a little yellowed, but I don't care. I'm going to be using it. Oh, it's from the dollar spot at Target. So it's probably not old. It's just gotten, oh, this is the glue side that just got yellowed. and Probably did sit in the sun for a while. So it's just a pack of papers that I'll be keeping for um for doing my junk and junk journaling. Oh, there is another one. I knew it. It's just a different shape. There's this that looks like it's been chewed on on the back. It says, Christ is the head of this house, the unseen guest at every meal, the silent listener to every conversation. For to me, to live is Christ. Philip, Philip, uh, Philip, Philip, <laughs> So, oh man, my brain, it's too late. Where's Jesus? 
And I'm not real happy that Jesus got, like, poked or whatever. But, you know, it's okay. It's just I'm not in the face, at least. So, that's nice. It's, um, it's not, it's not wood. It's like a heavier plastic. Uh, this is some, um, I never did find the lid, I guess, or the cover. This is some, um, stationery. <laughs> it says, special folks give the heart a lift. And there are, um, I don't know, quite a few pages there. And then there's some blue paper, or no, that's maybe just the backing of the package. And it doesn't even say anything on the box. It must have all said it on the lid. So um, this is going to be in the paper style. I got a thing of pink thread. Um, I, I don't know exactly why. I mean, it's pink. I love the pink. But also, like, I thought maybe I could use it. And then I was like, I don't know. It's threads. I would have liked it if it was twine or yarn. So I'm not really sure. I think the color got me. But um, it's pink thread. <laughs> um, This is a uh, deck of cards. It says plastic coated Duratone playing cards. And it looks like somebody tried to put a little ribbon on it. I don't know. Let me see here. I guess somebody was trying to make this be like a gift and put a ribbon on it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm certain that that didn't come with that ribbon. Um, and it's two decks of uh, Canasta cards. Now, this one is... The Joker is a little dinged up. But, I mean, I... You know... Is it savable? I'm sure it probably is. But is that okay for a deck of canasta cards? I'm not sure about that. Um, so anyhow, there you go. And those will be in the sale too. Today. With the polka dotted um, ribbon. <laughs> I got a, a, a pack of... Um, index cards and actually they don't even have lines um i buy index cards because sometimes um when i especially before i now now that i'm using you know i have all the label things and stuff i don't have to but before when i would have a um a first class package which is you know under uh, 13 ounces or whatever um I would have to make my own label or I didn't like writing it on the box. So I would use a lot of my index cards for stuff like that. So I also use them for writing notes and things. Um, then there's this, um, that I got. It's, uh, you know what I'm thinking? This might be from, uh, this might be from the Dollar Tree. For some reason, this packaging is giving me Dollar Tree. Sure enough. Green bar, green briar, yeah. No. Um, it says, it says, um, foil backsplash wall sticker, and it says keep keep life simple. That's what this one is. It's this one. That's cute. It's interesting. I'm not really. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's working. In my, that's not going to my kitchen, but you know, whatever. 
um, I got some more um, index cards. And then I got, you guys, I found it like this. And then I scoured the bin and I found the lid. Oh. Uh, it's a, and I just bought a transistor radio, but it's, it's, uh, aqua, like turquoise. Guys, oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. It still has the original battery. Light, long life. Oh, I don't know about all that. But, um, I mean, I don't know. This is super cool. And I honestly think I got one at a, another one at a, uh, a state sale last weekend. I don't remember if I did or not. But this, with the box and everything, if you love your you know, or if you have a husband or a son or a father, whatever, product of Hong Kong, solid state AM radio. This is super cool. Um, really cool. This is some papers for us. Uh, junk journaling. This is... <laughs> This is a tattoo sleeve. I, I've been telling Rachel I want to get another tattoo. She went and got um, a little butterfly and it says hope. Oh, this is going to be too small for me. It says West Coast, East, wait, mm, Mi Vida Loca, My Crazy Life. Oh, this, ew. Oh my God, I wish I would have left this in the thing. Look at that clown face. Oh my gosh. I can't even show this. It's a bit of a boob. Large. Okay, this is going to be a joke with somebody. I don't know who, though, yet. <laughs> this I got. Um, everybody was saying, oh, you should get this for your dream pets. And I don't know why I did grab this. I don't think I would use it for my dream pets. Because I think they need to be, you know, they don't, they're not plush. So they wouldn't really. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, I don't even know if this is. What this is what I, if this is what I thought it was. So, yeah, I don't know if I know what this is, but I'll check it out. <laughs> Sometimes you just grab things when you're at the bins. I will tell you that much. This I got, um, I might, um, I think I'll, I'll put this in tomorrow's sale. It's a happiness notepad from 2003 and it's Mary Engelbright. And it says happiness must be grown in one's own garden. And I think that's what I was thinking is that I would have it for tomorrow. This is a book that just says record book. And I think it's cool. Um, because I, I, I mean, it's not anything, you know, special, special. I just like it cause it's old looking. So I might sell this tomorrow. We'll see. I'll put it up here. That might be a good thing to put in there. Um, this is, I think another, um, yeah, curtain, uh, Made in India. It's it says forty four by eighty six, and I think I thought that this would definitely be something that my ladies might like. My ladies are gentlemen, whatever. Look at the monkey. <laughs> 
there's the monkey. So, this will be in a boho sale. Oh. This I had carried around. Oh, is this the one I did? Yeah, I was carrying this around all that day. It was warm in there. This is... Oh, thank you cards. Ooh, this is going to be a long one. This, just don't know yet. Sashay. This must have come off of one of these things of yarn or whatever. This will be for um, junk journaling. And this. Um, this is not for junk journaling. What did I get this one for? I think I saw somebody, I think Yvonne had been selling something like this. Um, because somebody liked a hat or something. I think that's, I don't remember. Then there's these that are going to be in, um, the sale tomorrow because these are, uh, Valentine's, but wait till you see the designs on them and you are going to lose it. They are, uh, this one that says wherever today takes you, hope it finds you happy. Happy Valentine's Day. And then there's a Frenchie that says kiss, kiss, love, love. And a poodle that says, do I wish you a happy Valentine's Day? Yep. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> this is some feather something or other. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. It has a, it's either going to be in my junk journaling or it'll be at a bobo sale. <laughs> That's some string. Again, I don't know really why that's string. Got this, and I hope that this doesn't take off the lid. The, uh. Okay, cool. Handmade in Yugoslavia. Wow. This is amazing. Look at that. It's really nice. This is super cool. Nice. Nice one. So I think this is orange, but I can't. Maybe it's faded, but I think it's orange. <laughs> <sighs> this, I... I'll be honest, I grabbed this because it's going in a package to somebody that might like it, might not, but it didn't cost me hardly anything, I'm sure, from the bins. So, it's a zipper. I got these because they're fun to use for junk journaling, and then I'll be able to, um, you know, share these because there's so many. Looks like there might have been a little water damage, but it doesn't matter. Some more of those um, zippers. This says, hang on, Friday's coming. It's 1983 from um, Hallmark. Hallmark. They had all of these. Man, if somebody collects these, they could... I, I could buy you, I got enough to give you a good wall start, you know. They're super cute. This would be a cute thing to collect. Um, I don't even buy them all anymore because people don't buy them, but they're super cute. I got some genuine hemp for jewelry, but I'll use it for whatever. Junk journaling. Then I got... Uh, some um, cards. This one is still packaged. These are cute. 
and then these are not they came out um, but they are from 1997 um, I might sell these tomorrow today this wait let me show this first this is a an apron might be good for somebody's dad for um, grilling or working in the probably needs to be washed uh, um, or working in the wood shop or something and this I think is just fabric and it's kind of that slippery kind but I know somebody's gonna want this mm -hmm. look at this we make some pillows or I don't even know what God, I knew somebody in this in this community would like I know a lot of you are gonna flip your lids for this. So yes, that will be fun to bring to you. This another shirt that I because I was like, I know somebody's gonna like this. It's a medium. I don't know if it's men's or women's. It's in the package. And it's your gnomes. And I don't know, it might be a long shirt. For, um, what is this? It might be a, it seems like it's like got the waistband at the bottom. So it might be a thin sweatshirt. It's cute. If you guys like gnomes, this is, you know, something that I'll, I'll be having for you. Got some fabric. That I thought somebody might like. You might like to make pa some a placemat out of these, or something like that. And then I got this for junk journaling. How many price tags do you need on it? Goodwill. I can't believe. You know why they don't sell this stuff? Cause they try to sell it for too much. Golly, people. And it's good. Good. Uh, all right, so, uh, all right, I got this, doll, she got good Caribbean colors and such on, uh, there. You guys, I took this because it probably cost me nothing to take it, but I can use it in my shipping. I got things for my packing toppers. I got some yeah, more marbles. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I got this. I got... <gasps> I got this whole thing. Marbles. Ugh. It probably cost half of what I paid for everything there. Look at that big one. Mm. <clears throat> cool, right? And then a bunch of more stuff like that. And then I got this pin. It says this might come as a shock to you, but I have my own problems. <laughs> oh yeah, this little book I got for tomorrow. Totally vintage. <clears throat> Should be anyway. It says this book belongs to <coughs> Oh gosh. It's in Roman numerals again. But it's adorable. Vintage. And then I got this. I sure did. And a bunch of stuff for tomorrow's sale. Today's sale. Um, not all maybe, but this uh, calendar or can't <laughs> puzzle. <coughs> I might have other puzzles. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to them tomorrow. By tomorrow. But isn't that cute? 
I figured puzzles are paper. I mean, that's what I did. I got a ton of books, people. Oh, yeah, I got these because I thought it was funny. Fooky success. And then they're just the cute pink and black. Mm -hmm. And this I got just to use for me. Notebook or whatever. Another um, coloring book for somebody. Well, it's like, a, actually, it's like a, a lot of different things in here. It's a God Makes Families. It's from 1970s. 70. It's a family series preschool curriculum. God Makes Families. So somebody might actually like this um, to, you know, teach their children some things. That's what I'm going to be for tomorrow. Then I got uh, some coloring books. Lassie. Travel Around the World. And they're vintage. And this book, When I Go to Bed. A lot of this stuff might be in tomorrow's sale. That's why I bought it. This book is, oh, and it has writing in it. I love that. San Juan. It's cool. But there's somebody wrote in here some pages. It says, the 22nd of loneliness and we don't talk like we used to do. Now it seems pretty strange, but I'm not bugging because I still feel the same. The 22nd of loneliness and we've been through so many things. Wow, this might be somebody writing a song. Shoot. Gangsters, oh, it's Gangsters Paradise by Coolio. Maybe that's a different one, I don't know. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. <laughs> I, I know that part. Take a look at, uh, I don't know. That's funny to find that in there. <laughs> and there's another um, the coloring, vintage coloring book. That, you know, has been used up somewhat, but not all. And it's cute and vintage. And it is from, uh, oh man, another, I'm going to need to learn my Roman numerals. But I thought I could put that like in a lot, right? This is a Civil War cookbook from Booger Howell, Hollow. I don't know. There's some things in here that looked interesting. That'll be in tomorrow's sale. Wonderfully Made, another vintage book, will be in tomorrow's sale. Today's sale. That's why I bought these. These are some, uh, this is from a sex education book series. Where will it all go? We're going to be looking at that tomorrow. And then I got another one, I think. Oh, I wonder, I wonder. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, naturally curious about maleness and femaleness. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's go to school. The hair book. Mother Goose. All of these are going to be in the sale. I think Golden Home and High School Encyclopedia, Volume 15. This is a little damaged, but this is good. This is so cool, man. I mean, this is how you. This is this was the internet when I was a kid. You had your encyclopedias. This is our. R-A-I through S-C-A. Kids don't even know what that means. Golly, if they only had a clue. Right? Ugh. Got the beginner book, Dictionary. Got Mary Poppins. Got the Sunflower Garden. Got 
got the princess and the pea. Somebody was saying something about fairy fairy tales and things. I think it was Nancy from the overstuffed house. I'm not sure. Got my little mass book. And got Uncle Tom's Cabin. Misty had a book that was talking about that yesterday. She, I think she had part of it in there. Or was it yesterday? Or maybe it was the other day then I, when I helped her. Um, and this is... Uh, oh, this is old. Where's the date? Doesn't have a date. Uh, well, it should somewhere have something. Uh, wow, this might be really, really old. I'm going to have to do some research on this. There are a couple of illustrations. But, um, it says preface. The scenes of this story, as its title indicates, lie among a race hitherto ignored by the associations of polite and refined society, an exotic race whose ancestors, born beneath the tropic sun, brought with them and perpetuated to their descendants a character so essentially unlike that of the hardened and dominant Anglo-Saxon race as for many years to have won from the latter only misunderstanding and contempt. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to have to look into this because this is pretty tattered. And then the last book I have is, um, uh, Lori got a bunch of these and then she let me have one cause it's in, it's all, um, well, I'm not sure if we decided if this was in Japanese or Chinese, um, but it's in something. And then there's some pictures at the back. I mean, I'm keeping this for a while at least, and then it might just get used for um, jump turtling, but I don't know yet. It's it's going to take a little bit of um, re research. So that's it. Oh my goodness, I went over an hour. You guys, thank you for my, so much for um, hanging in there. Please give me a thumbs up if you um, don't mind. And not if you like this video. <laughs> so you hate this. This will take you a week to watch for some of you. But I haven't done videos every day this week. So um, I need to get caught up with some of these things. I'm getting some, making a dent in my, my um, organization. So um, please just make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and share my channel with anyone you think might enjoy it. Also, please, if uh, you're watching this on Thursday morning, make sure to come to my sale at uh, 1 o'clock Eastern, 12 o'clock uh, Central, 11 o'clock Mountain, 10 a.m. Pacific. Alrighty, bye everybody. Thank you.